Hi everybody, it's me again. Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who don't know, <laughs> Tina. Hi, we are going to be trying something new today. And I'm hoping that this will work because if not, then I'll have a whole bunch of wasted videos because I already filmed them. So I'm, what we're going to do today is I had videotaped me doing some DIYs. And so I'm going to watch the DIY on my computer as I film this and then um, once I finish doing watching it and talking to you guys I'm going to try to edit them together with me this video here of me up in the corner so we will see how it works so I'm just gonna try I'm just gonna start one up and I need to shut the volume off completely and okay that's part two so I need to find part one so let's stop that so I'm just gonna put down part two so let's find part one Is this part one okay it is so we're going to I'll just go ahead and let us um, let it roll <laughs> let it run but yeah I'm just I'm trying to clear off the table so that I can get this thing going whether or not I might just cut that part out because you really don't need to see that but I don't know we'll see well yeah so what we're doing is I <laughs> I got this uh, wrapping paper at Dollar, G or, yeah, Dollar General, and I just showed that video yesterday of the Dollar General haul. <laughs> the story about that Dollar General haul is I totally forgot about it. It's like I think it was um, it was around the time that the computer broke, and I was doing a whole bunch of stuff with the computer, and so and I was just I just totally forgot about it, and I thought I had posted it. Oh, here we're showing the. Um, the little ho 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 tree and because the reason I'm pointing that out is because we're going to cut that out we're going to cut out the little ho 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 tree you only need to cut out I mean you can cut out as many as you want I mean, you can choose any wrapping paper you want I chose this wrapping paper because I like the fact that it was nice and shiny and it was like that aluminum kind of wrapping paper and I really like that but yep yeah, I'm showing you the ho 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 tree I cut it out yep yeah, see I'm good at cutting. <laughs> Anyways, what I was saying about the, the Dollar General haul, I totally forgot about it. I was going through my iCloud videos, as I told you. I didn't have the the cord to download them straight off my compute, my phone, so I had to get them off iCloud. And I realized that I had... Oh, now we're looking at the snowmen wrapping paper. And I'm probably going to point out that there's snowmen on there. <laughs> because I need to show that to you. Hold on, let's look. I'm still getting the the pla I'm just gonna throw it to the side. We'll just throw it to the side for right now. Okay, are we gonna am I gonna show them to you? Or am I just gonna cut? Oh, I guess I'm just gonna cut. Yeah, I was I was originally only gonna cut out one of the snowmen, but then I saw that the scarves were all different colors, so I decided, hmm, I'll cut out three of them and that's what I ended up doing. But yeah, like I said, you can choose any wrapping paper you want to for this, you know, particular craft or DIY or whatever you want to call it. So, um, but anyways, like you finished the Dollar General thing. I had totally forgot about it and I'm looking through the, yep, yeah, as you can see, the three different snowmen. I was looking through my iCloud and I stumbled upon them. I'm like, wait a minute, did I post this? I don't think I posted this. You know, I'm looking through my videos that I had posted it was not there. I'm like, and I could have sworn that I had posted it, but I didn't. So I was like, oh, well, I'm going to have to get that um, edited and uploaded ASAP because, as you know, I've got another one here, this um, Santa Clauses. Originally, I was going to keep the green, the, the border on it, but then I decided to cut that off, which you'll see later in the video. But anyway, so... 
I immediately downloaded off iCloud and edited it. And so it was like from the 13th of November. I was like, whoa. So yeah, that's the reason why that video was so old. Yeah, there's the snow, not snowman, but that's the Santa Claus that we had cut out. So now we're going to, there's like six of them all together, six um, wrapping papers, but there were some of them that only had like designs on it. They didn't have like a snowman or a Christmas tree. So I didn't do anything with them. I only took the ones that I did do something, which was, was the tree. And I did something with the Santa Claus and I did something with the snowman and I did something, I think there was another one I did. Well, I'm still unwrapping it because it's they're brand new, obviously. But I do still have tons of videos I need to film. So, oh yeah, this one here. I forgot about this one. This one, I actually, I made it into an ornament. You'll see how I did that. And it is on my tree right now. And it, it turned out really cute. I'm really, I was really impressed with how they turned out. But, I mean, these are kind of crafts you could do with your kids, you know. Just give you something to do over the holidays. Yeah, I'm just cutting out the snowman. You don't have to use a lot of the wrapping paper either. You just, you know, cut out as many or as little as you want and save the rest of the wrapping paper for wrapping presents. Because, and, oh yeah, I was just showing how I, I'm using one of my rubber bands to Keep the um, wrapping paper closed so they're not like unraveling and stuff. And so that's what I was showing. Looks like I have something on my thumbnail. Or my pinky nail. I have something on my pinky nail. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Santa Claus. Yeah, I wish I had um, some like little white puffs to put on the hat, the little hat thingy, but I don't have any, so. And I didn't want to make one out of yarn. I know I could have done that, but I was like, nah. So, I'll have to buy, if I, next year when I make, like, Santa Claus or something like this, I need to get some of the little, you know, poofs so that I can just glue it onto the ornament. Because I think that would have been really, really cute. I can't remember if there were any others I took out or not. Yeah, I'm looking for rubber bands to tie around my my um, Christmas wrap so that it doesn't all come unraveled and get ruined, and then I won't be able to use it to wrap the presents I have. But that also will be a a, a video. That is the word I'm trying to look for. That will also be a video in the near future. Yes. It's going to be really fun trying to make sure I line this up with the video so that it, it all falls, you know, together the right way. Yeah, I think I'm picking up garbage now. Yeah, I'll probably just cut out this part where I'm just picking up garbage. <laughs> and I'm showing here you can use um, some paper. I use paper plates because that's what I have on hand, but you could also use some construction paper. And then I was showing that I also, I'm using a tiny little plate to put some Mod Podge on. Yeah, because we need the Mod Podge. And I also, I'm using um, foam applicators from the Dollar Tree. And I just cut some off it and that's what I use instead of a paintbrush to apply the Mod Podge. Yep, see, I just, I cut a piece of it. And that's what I use. And then when I'm done with that particular piece, I throw it away with the, any leftover Mod Podge that might be on the plate. And I'm giving it a good shake a -roo. Yeah, that nasty, dried, crusty stuff. Yeah, throw that away. That's yuck. <laughs> That'd be yuck. So, just pour some out, depending on how much you might think you may be using. I should have used my sponge to wipe up that little spill. Oh, to the well.
So you know you're just gonna cut out as much as you can. Because now you're gonna be using the Mod Patch to, to attach them to the plate. Yep, I need my glasses. I'm blind. <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing. So we put on the glasses. <laughs> yeah, I think the, this one is like the only one that I actually take time and cut it out slowly. The rest of them I just... I just cut it out as close as I can. So now we're applying some Mod Podge to the back of it. And yeah, you'll get it all over your fingers. Oh well. Yeah, it'll roll up now that it's all wet. And I decided, okay, I better turn it over. And just, you know, make sure you get the entire thing saturated with the Mod Podge so it stays down. <laughs> and then I go over the entire thing with the Mod Podge to make sure it stays. And there, we got the first one done. So now we move on to the next one. Let's imagine you know, all these, you could use any kind of wrapping paper. You find anything that has a cute, you know, design on it that you want to be able to keep. Or even something like, say, something your grandmother got you and you have the wrapping paper, you know, and your grandmother's already passed. And you want to make a memento out of the wrapping paper, you could do something like this. You know, and then, you know, that would be perfect. You know, you know what I'm saying? You can make an ornament out of it, and you can make a magnet out of it. You could make a bookmark out of it. You know, there's so many things you could use. Or you could make a little magnet where you can hang a picture on it and put a picture of your grandmother on it. You know, these are all great ideas. And again, I'm just going to saturate the top of it, just like I did with the snowman. And I just use my finger to make sure it gets completely covered on the ends. Because I do not want that, you know, flipping up. And then we continue on. And we pretty much do the same with the, the rest of them. Yes, we do. Sippy, sippy. As you can see, I stopped cutting them out. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to have to cut them out when they're dried, so I'm just going to stick it out as it is. <laughs> it's like, that's too much work. But then again, you know, you go over it with the Mod Podge. As, I don't know if you could tell in on the thing, but those snowmen have arms. I wasn't about to try to keep the arms on the snowmen. I ended up just cutting the arms off. So, you know, and a, a snowman without arms is not, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not an odd thing to see. So I just cut the arms off. It was easier that way. And if they had, like, thick arms that would have been easier to save, then I would have saved them. But since it was just a stick, I was like, no, we're not going to keep those. <laughs> yeah, I was showing it so you could see that the arm was pretty much gone. <laughs> I did not keep the arms. 
you know, when I was putting these on, I could have saved enough room for the Santa Claus head, but I totally forgot about it. And so I ended up having to go get another plate. I was like, oh no, I could have made him fit if I had done it, you know, with him in mind when I put the snowman down. And I think there's two Santa heads, and I only thought there was one. It's like, oh well, I'll just get another plate. But yet, because of all the magnets and ornaments I had planned on making for my channel and to make for the, the holidays, I went ahead and went to um, the Dollar Tree and bought construction paper. They have a whole bunch of different colors construction papers you can buy, which is pretty much the same thickness as the paper plates because I didn't want to waste all my paper plates making these. And so that's what I did. And you'll see the construction paper in some of my other videos but for these ones you'll just see the paper plates so this just gives you an, an idea of something you know different ways you can make them this way I showed you you can use you know paper plates you could use the cheap paper plates they won't be as thick as you know these ones but you know either would work I mean I wanted mine to have a little bit of thickness to them Yeah, I just let it lay down flat and made sure that was nice and covered with the Mod Podge. And then I just peeled it up. Yeah, I don't know why that the, the camera stopped and I had to go to... Oh, I remember now because it was 58 minutes long and I had to cut it in half to get it off my phone because it wouldn't let me get it off iCloud for some unknown reason. I don't know why, but... So I had to op turn on the camera for this part. Yeah, I'm just showing that it's smeared. The black on the, the snowman's ended up smearing, so. Oh, well. Nothing's perfect in this house, as you all know. Yeah, this segment's only four minutes, so how long? I guess we'll get quite a bit of it done here. Josie's out there being giggly. Yeah, as you can see, I'm cutting off the green. And I, I'm not sure why I'm being so precise <laughs> with this one. As you can see, I didn't wasn't that precise with the other ones. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure when I realized that I don't have enough room on the plates to put this, this um, Santa Claus. <laughs> no, it won't fit there. Hmm. It's like, I forgot about him. Oh no. Nope, he won't fit there either. <laughs> I was like, oh well, I guess I'll have to get another plate. <laughs> I was like, darn. Now I got like the glue all over my fingers. <laughs> I was like, I try to get it off my fingers a little bit before I go get another plate. <laughs> but yeah, I was showing that I needed to get another plate. <laughs> but, yep. Yeah. Yep, because I didn't have enough room for the, the Santa, so I had to get another plate. That's pretty much what I was motioning there. So I'm just getting him ready to be stuck to the plate. And turn it over. Oh, things are sticking to my arms. Um, I need just a teeny bit more Mod Podge. Just a teeny bit. Because I didn't have enough to get him down. I think that once um, when I got it, it was all dried and stuff, that tip was still sticking up. And I ended up having to glue it down. There, and he's ready to go and sit and dry. And so that is what I let them do. So we're going to go to the next part of the video. Okay, I'm showing you um, some different things you could get. I have E6000, I think that's E6800. You can have some paper clips. You can use magnets, some ties. I needed a, I think I go more into more into what I'm, I used for how to, different ideas to make with the things we made with the wrapping paper. Yep, and I'm just showing that they're dry, so it's time to cut them out. So, 
Yeah, I just cut it out real quick and then, then we do the, the close up cutting. And I'm just throwing the plates away because can't use a plate with a big old hole in it. Yeah, those green scissors, those green and white scissors are my favorites at doing my crafts because they cut so well in the in the little, you know, nips and, you know, I'd have to turn the little turns and stuff. I have to do, they work so well. I think I got those at um, Dollar General, I think. I can't remember, but I love them. Even Those are Anthony's. <laughs> I got him green ones. I got me purple ones. I haven't tried my purple ones yet to see if they work well. They're out in the living room in with my plastic canvas stuff. I was like, are you positioned well? And I was like, I guess you could see. Because I want you to see every little cut. Oh, I got to put on my glasses because you know me. I'd be blind. <laughs> so we're going to just start cutting really carefully. I want to make sure they're they look really good when you cut them out. You don't want them to look bad. So I take my time when it comes to the whole cutting. Yeah, I need to do my nails again because as you can see, after I had worn my nails for a while, my nails grew out and they looked really nice, but then they started breaking off again. So I need to wear my fake nails so my nails will grow out. And we're just slowly cutting it out. And you see how nice those scissors are? They cut so nicely. I'm not having to struggle to cut through it. Because some of my other scissors, I have trouble cutting, you know, with the, like around that hat, getting a nice, nice cut around that hat. I wouldn't be able to do it with some of my other scissors because they're just not sharp enough. Yeah, I was filming this at nighttime. It's probably like like midnight, one o'clock in the morning. I was really worried the lighting was going to be really bad, but it's not that bad, even with the shadows. It's not bad at all. But I think next time I do something like this, I will have like a light on the table just to give it a little bit more light. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If I should have like a table light as well, just giving it more light. So it's not in the shadows. Yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And as you can see, I'm just cutting them really slowly. Because I, I want them to look nice, like I said. And like those little, you know, parts where it has like, it's like dangled. I just, I just nip it a little bit. You know, I was showing it where it's, it's smeared a little bit. And I'm like, oh, well, <laughs> nothing I can do about it. So I'll probably speed up this part just with me cutting. I'll speed it up a little bit. And I think it looks just fine without the arms that were on it. I think he looks just fine. Not all snowmen need to have arms. I did manage to keep his hat, so. Yeah, maneuvering around those corners was a pain in the butt, but I did it. That would be easier if I had smaller shears. <laughs> but those shears are pretty big, but like I said, they're my they're my favorites when it comes to cutting out these things. And he got a little smeared as well, but that's fine. Yeah, I was trying to cut off a little bit of some of those corners that got left behind, but he's done. 
So now we'll go to the other snowman. He was, he was better because he didn't smear. Look how nice he looks. You know, I was pointing it out. He's like, look how pretty he is. He didn't smear. I was like, why did the other one smear? <laughs> You're going to be learning something brand new today when it comes to editing. I know there's a way to do it, so I'll figure it out. It'll definitely make it easier for me, like, if I want to do some crafts like this, but I don't want to have to do the whole getting gussied up to do it. I can just film my hands and then come back later like I am right now and just, you know, film me up in the corner, you know, do um, talking over it, you know, that kind of thing. It will make it much easier for me. Because there are times where I want to do a crap, but I don't, I don't want to have to put on my hair and put on, put my teeth in and all that good stuff. But yeah, I don't think I need to film me cutting out every single piece that we, you know, glued to the plate. So I'm going to cut through this part and I will come back after everything has been cut out. Yep, there's the snowman. You saw me cut out that one, I think. Did you see me cut out that one? I can't remember. Yeah, I was trying to get it out of the shadow so you could see it better. And there's the tree, which turned out really cute. And then Santa Claus. He would be really cute if I had a pom-pom to put on his, his um, thing. Yep, there's all of them. There's the snowman, and there's Santa Claus. So now we're going to make some stuff out of them. So I need a, you need a hole punch if you're going to do exactly what I did. And I'm going to make the Santa here into an ornament. Oops. Yeah, I told you that was sticking up. So I'm just going to poke a hole in it real quick. And then I think I used some glue to glue it down. Some E6000. It was E6800, yeah. I just use a little bit of that just to, you know, get it down so it's not sticking up. I keep it in a bag because it does, so just in case it leaks, it's not going to get all over my stuff. Yeah, you might not, I don't know if you'll be able to see or not, but I just put a little bit on it. I don't put a lot on it. I was like, no, nope, I didn't put any on it. <laughs> I was like, let's try that again. There we go. Yeah. And then we need to ma I make another one into an ornament. I can't remember. But yeah, I have these. I got those with the um the little um gift tags that I got from Dollar General. If you watched my Dollar General haul yesterday, you would have seen the gift tags I told you I was going to make into magnets or ornaments. And, well, I didn't throw the little cords away that came with it. I'm using them right here for this thing. I recycle. Yes, I do. So I'm going to use one of those to make the hanging thingy for the, the Santa Claus. Yeah, don't throw nothing away. You never know. You might need it for something else. Yeah, I have the hardest time getting this thing into a knot. I don't know why. I was having such a hard time with it, but I do finally manage to get it into a knot. I just have really, my hands just don't work as well as they used to. I was like, oh, let's try it again. <laughs> my hands just don't work. I was like, okay, let's <laughs> sit back because I need to concentrate here because it's, it's just my hands don't like to do anything anymore. Okay, I finally got it. <laughs> it's like showing off my ability to finally to make a knot. And you just poke it. You just poke it through the hole. I'm trying to poke it through the hole anyways. <laughs> trying to poke it through the hole. There we go. And then you just, you know, make a loop. Loop-de-loop. -loop. And just tighten it around the thing, and then you're you're done. That's that's it. You made an ornament out of a piece of wrapping paper. Yes. 
And I decided to make the snowman into an ornament as well. I was like, oh, he has some red on him, so I can use another red one. And hopefully it doesn't take me as long to make a knot. <laughs> because I need to concentrate making those knots. I think I was able to do it better this time. So, I'm just speeding through me trying to make the knot. <laughs> okay. I was like, oh, I forgot to poke a hole in it. <laughs> What did I do with it? What did I do with my hole puncher? There it is. So, just pretty much poke a hole in it again. I got the hole puncher at um, Dollar General for a buck. So, we're going to do the same thing we did with the Santa Claus. Yep, you just pull the loop through and thread the other end through the hole. Just like that. Pretty fancy. And there. You got another ornament. So now, what we gonna do? <laughs> this time, we are going to make us some... You either call... You can use them as a bookmark. You can use them as a planner clip. But I like these fat little, I bought these off Holler, these fat paper, jumbo paper clips. And pretty much all you're going to do is just glue them to the paper clip. Just make sure you put it on the, the right end of the paper clip. Just like that. So we're going to get out the old E6, six, I got the E6800. But it also, you can also get the E6000. It all works the same. Yeah, I did buy some of the little pointers that you put onto the end of the glue. And, but I just haven't applied, put one on it yet. So you just apply the tree. <laughs> and I'm just going to lay it down and let it dry a little bit. I'm just moving the, the thing around a little bit to get it nice and glued on there. I'm going to do the same thing with the Santa Claus. Get some glue on it and then apply it and let it dry. And I'm showing you, I found a piece of dog food. <laughs> it's like, dog food, what are you doing here? He's like, I put it in the wrong area. I have to move it. Well, I'll, I'll see that when I turn it over. It's like, it's not supposed to be there. I put it, oh, I did put it in the right spot. I thought I put it in the wrong spot. I was mistaken. So that's fine. So now we're going to make the snowmen into magnets. Yes. I did a little bit of everything. I got some magnets here. So, yeah, I'm using my scissors to see which side is the magnet and which side is not the magnet. So I'll know which side to glue out and which side to glue in. Because if I glue it the wrong way, because they look the same. So you have to, that's how I do it. I'll, like, put it on my scissors to see which side is the magnetic, magnetic side. That is what I do. And then I'll do the same thing with these strips. I will just glue them on. Yeah, I recycled these strips here. Yeah, the only nail that I have that survived is my pinky nail. <laughs> I think I, yeah, I still have that nail. It's the only one that survived. The other ones are starting to grow back in a little bit, and they're they're filthy. As always, I don't normally end up having to cut this one off because it doesn't break off. But yeah, there's all the magnets. They're all done. Now they just need to dry. Yes, and voila. Okay, so now... I did do a, a short video just showing you them, you know, on the the fridge. Here are the magnets. The, the magnets on my refrigerator. Aren't they cute? I 
And then I also videotaped, let me find it. Oh, wrong one. And this is saying, I'm hoping, this, I couldn't tell if you would be able to see it or not in the lighting, but you can see it. There's Santa on my tree. And then I go over to the other side. Oh, I thought I'd put it in the same video, but I guess I didn't. Because I did go around to the other side and showed you the um, snowman on my tree. And they are still on my tree. Yeah, it's just a little quick um, video of those. And then I'm looking, I have a video showing off the, um, yeah, here it is. It shows the, the, the planner clips, or you can use them as bookmarks, and there they are. Merry Christmas. <laughs> but yeah, you can use them as a bookmark or a planner clip, whatever it is you want to use them for. But that is it. That is the first DIY that I wanted to share with you, I used some normal wrapping paper. The one I used obviously was aluminum, the kind of like, looks like aluminum foil. But you could use any kind of wrapping paper to make the items that you saw pictured. But, so don't forget, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And right here, smack dab, in the middle of this video, you will see my picture. Click on it if you haven't subscribed yet. And here... And here are a couple links to a couple of my videos. Click on them if you haven't watched them yet. But until next time, bye!